Greetings all, the Westfair here, and basically I am watching the eclipse, not like this, I'm watching the eclipse with, oh great, that's going to be awkward, with this, that, and those glasses for my lens, since obviously, those glasses are a Chinese, uh, Japanese ripoff, or Chinese, whatever, they're Chinese, Japanese made, I don't really care, but they are fakes that are not ISO certified, which is sad, very sad indeed. But yeah, I'm basically watching the eclipse outside using the box method, the that other method, what's it called, binocular method, and lens method using the rip-off solar glasses I have that now I got for free because Amazon refunded me. Oh well. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so I'm being smart here and these glasses, they do not protect your eyes apparently. I got an email from Amazon, so that was a big mistake, but I can use them as a lens to cover up my lens right here and try to spot the sun right there. You can probably see the dot right there, the orange dot. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in since I'm on like one hand recording, so I have to. Good, that's as zoom as possible. There it is. The sun so far on the partial solar eclipse. I'll check back within about 15 minutes or so. You can see the sun being taken, not taken off, eclipsed by the sun. It's gonna be a partial one here. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, right now the solar eclipse looks so beautiful right now. It seems like the moon morphed into a weird object. As you can tell, this is sarcasm. This is obviously just sad right here. Clouds everywhere except this right here. Hopefully the sun... Hopefully the sun is on full uh, view when it reaches the maximum, which is 61% here in San Antonio. Woohoo! Fun. Very fun. There's another way I'm doing it. As you can see, the sun is already being eclipsed. It's not going to be a full eclipse, but just a partial one. 61%, as I said before. But yeah, this is pretty interesting. Beautiful. What I want to address is these lenses make the eclipse, the eclipse reverse. Technically, the moon is coming out from the top right of the sun, not the bottom left. It's just a mirror image because these are binoculars, so... Let's go and make it bigger, and there it is. Yep, it's really happening. There's nothing noticeable in the sky unless you look directly at the sun. I'm not going to do that because I'm already blind enough. Yay, the sun is a peanut now, or banana, whatever you want to say, but it's starting to get that crescent shape. As you can see, it's it's looking great and wonderful. Though I can't look at it directly, sadly, because I don't have proper solar eclipse glasses. The ones I'm using right now are not ISO certified, as I said on the previous video. Fun. I'm sweating a lot right now. Hot out here. Screenshot time, just stay still and perfect photo right there. As you can see from the binocular perspective, the sun's about 30% covered. So this is uh, halfway through the eclipse. No, it's not. Not until it reaches the full capacity, which is 61%. So this is about a fourth of a way? I don't know, but. It's actually fun being out here, actually outside. Ah, it's hot, seriously. South Texas weather, people. South Texas weather. Don't you hate when that cloud gets in your solar eclipse way? Dang. Bye-bye. 
this is what I'm currently seeing. A giant cloud. And through the glasses, there is just a little sun, that's all. And the sun just disappeared again. How fun. Yeah, there it is. And no sun. No sun, absolutely not. No sun through the glasses. I'm using one hand, that's horrible. So these are the glasses right here. There's no brand name on them. So that's why, I think that's why Amazon emailed me because these aren't ISO certified. Hey, the sun's coming out, let's check again. There it is. Let's zoom in. Let's focus and hold focus. Yeah, that's somewhat good. It looks beautiful still. If I slowly did that, that looks good right there as well. That actually looks like a sun. Yep, I'm having fun here. Oh dang, it went out of focus. There it is, right there. Perfect shot, perfect shot. Yeah, right now I've been out here for about an hour, so... You're crazy. Yep, I am crazy. This is going on YouTube as well, so... Fun, the sun is a moon now. That's good, but this is um you think I can burn myself in my tire? Where is it from? This is basically uh totality here. Full partial whatever. This is how much the sun's gonna get fully covered basically. Sixty one percent right there. That is 61%. 61% yet again. The farthest it will go. A beautiful, beautiful view. A beautiful 61% sun. Yay. Up in the north. A giant peanut, orange, or banana. Maximum coverage already happened. It happened around 103 Central Standard Time, and this is what's happening already. What's left already? The sun's percentage is already increasing again. It's the moon's gonna leave from the left downward. This was a fun experience. The next one I wait for is 2023 and 2024. Those will be full eclipses in my area. It's gonna be fun and interesting. Hopefully my job, my future job, doesn't get involved with that. But yeah, let's check the binoculars. Which is quite hard, apparently. There it is. Look at that beautiful sun thing right there. It's a bit shaky because my hand's shaky.
If I get farther and farther away, it gets more and more sensitive. Yeah, but it gets like moving a lot. Yeah, that's it. That could have looked like two pairs of eyes from that meme. Two eyes and a smile. And the moon's starting to leave. How sad. I have to wait till 2023 now. Yay. Here's the moon. It's already leaving. Sad, sad, sad. Bright though. Very bright. If you guys are wondering what binoculars I'm using, I'm using the Bushnell binoculars. And there goes the eclipse. Farewell, eclipse. See you in 23 and 24. Perfect, right here. Very perfect. I like it. This is a keeper. <laughs> well, as you can see from this, the solar eclipse is already almost gone. Almost done. Whoops. I sound like a kid. When my voice goes high and then when my voice when my voice goes low. Depends. But yeah, it's almost over. Sad, sad, sad. Sad to see it go. Only like part of the sun is covered now. It's major partial. It's calming though, when you just stare at it through the camera, through the glasses. I've been out here for too long already. It's hot out here. I'm ready to go in as soon as it hits full, 100% sunlight again. Bye bye moon. You could just barely see his sun now. I meant the moon. Right there. You could just barely see it. Kinda sad though. See it go so fast. Two or three hours. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a little setup here. Whoops, I'm doing it reverse. I'm on a one hand. Okay, let's do this properly. There it is. The moon's going away already. Just, I'm, I'm saying about 10% sunlight's covered right now. I could pretty much say the solar eclipse is over. It's like blazing hot out here. Only just a little part left and I'm getting tired so I'm going back inside. I've been outside the whole time in South Texas heat. Aren't I crazy? Let's take one last view at our binocular view. I'm getting the hang of this. Even though it's gonna... 2023, I'm gonna have to wait. Okay, let's get that thing out of the way. And a line. Oh, these binoculars are hot. There's only one part of the sun left, and that's all. Yeah, it was an interesting eclipse. I liked it. But these binoculars are very hot right now. I'm burning my hand, so I'm just gonna exit. Now look what I had to deal with. This hot blazing sun with a bunch of clouds and everywhere. <sighs> I'm not speaking English correctly right now because I'm very tired and very exhausted from being out here in the hot heat. So that was my full mini documentary of my solar eclipse. It was pretty interesting and tiring. It took me a few hours. Took me a few minutes to edit as well. And this is the final video. So as always guys, be safe and careful. Have a great day. The Wise Furry, out.